So there are hundreds and millions of children every day, well, Monday to Friday, eating school food here in China. That has to be the most traditional food you can find here. So yes, I've eaten a lot of Chinese school food. I worked in a public primary school. I now work in an international school. And so I've eaten a lot of uh, Chinese, Chinese lunch, Chinese school lunch. And I'm gonna show you guys the last five meals I had here. Okay, let's be honest. School food all over the world is not great. If you've got fond memories of uh, your school food, then you went to a good school. Let's have a look at the food that I've been eating for the last five days. So Monday, Monday was actually quite a special day. We had a uh, popcorn chicken. Not very, uh, <laughs> not considered very traditional. Uh, a couple of uh, cabbage dishes, some, some tofu, popcorn chicken, and some rice. It wasn't too bad. The popcorn chicken wasn't actually too bad. The cabbage and the, uh, the tofu, yeah, a little on the salty side. But to be honest, it wasn't that bad. On Tuesday, we had some eggs, some tea eggs, uh, with some chicken, uh, some beans, and another kind of green vegetable with uh, always rice. This one, uh, the green vegetable, the green beans were actually not too bad. The eggs I didn't get on with well. The chicken was fine and the, uh, the green beans were actually not too bad. And the other green vegetable was, uh, was pretty good. Yeah, a bit salty. Have a look on Wednesday. We had a very special day on Wednesday. We got some... We got some more vegetables now. It was almost like special fried rice. It wasn't fried though. So it's just like steamed with uh, like a, some corn and some uh, cabbage. Egg and tomato have a very common dish. You'll see this all over the place in China. Like uh, I ate this when I took a few of the new teachers to a local restaurant in China. We got some local dishes. Egg and tomato was one of the dishes we had there. It's a very good dish. Uh, some, green, uh, some green vegetables, another cabbage dish and two meat dishes so this was a really <laughs> special day we had two meat dishes this day the meatballs were cold though uh yeah cold meatballs if they were warm they probably wouldn't be too bad but they were full of fat thursday was uh it's more of a challenge we had this like massive egg flan thing uh didn't get on well with that uh two vegetable dishes and uh another meat dish which was um Full of fat, uh, not, not a lot of meat, and uh, always rice. Now Friday, man, they must have realized I was like filming all this because Friday was one of the best school meals I've ever actually had. Like, uh, we had noodles, I've not had noodles uh, in, a, in a Chinese school before, which um, I think would be a little bit more common, but it's always rice. And we had noodles and they were really good. It wasn't even that salty. They weren't too bad. A uh, cabbage dish with like some carrots, shredded carrot in it. Uh, like all these like vegetable dishes always kind of lean more on the salty side, but yeah, school food. And the um, kind of like mushroom with uh, like uh, shredded chicken in the uh, top right, which wasn't too bad again. And then they had fried chicken. My God, I've not had fried chicken much in there. I've had it a few times, but not many. And there was so much meat on this fried chicken. It was incredible. Like I've not enjoyed school food as much as I did on uh, Friday. It's just fried everything. Like every part of the chicken is just thrown and fried. Like uh, if you've tried chicken feet before, I guess you should try school food chicken feet to really know if you've like, you know, had traditional chicken feet. Like fried school food chicken feet was really tough to, was really tough to eat. So if I'm being honest, if I'm comparing the school food to English school food, I actually so much prefer the school food here in China than I did when I was back in school. That is Chinese school lunches, Chinese school lunch. If you come to China and you actually manage to you know, get into a school, I don't know, for if you're working in a school, definitely eat the Chinese school lunch. It must be the most traditional food you can eat. What food the government serves their kids has to be the most traditional. So I like to show you guys a lot of different food here in China. So it's not all school food. Some of it is really good. Not that school food was bad. I just said it, I really enjoyed it. But if you want to see some really good Chinese food, this is my favorite Chinese restaurant and I consider it the best restaurant in China. And me and Christina recently went to Changsha. Changsha is an amazing city and it is very famous for stinky tofu. 
So check out that video if you want to see more about stinky tofu. And please uh, subscribe. As they say in China, bye bye.